A bipartisan commission of lawmakers and stakeholders says PennDOT has a funding problem. The end result, an $8 billion a year shortfall in revenue needed to repair the state's roads and bridges and funding public transit. As Money Editor John Delano reports, the proposed solutions are likely to be painful. Because Pennsylvania has more state-maintained roads than New York, New Jersey, and New England combined, and plenty of old bridges across our rivers, and a number of major public transit systems, the state's reliance on a gasoline tax to fund these needs is outdated, says the Transportation Revenue Options Commission, or TROC. The revenues from gas haven't gone up. In fact, they've gone down. While states like New York rely on the gas tax for less than 20% of their transportation dollars, it's 78% in Pennsylvania. Melissa Patula, PennDOT's number two official, says the gasoline tax is no longer a smart way to fund repairs, especially with the growth of electric vehicles. You're seeing fuel efficiency goes up, which means the amount of gas people are buying goes down, which means the revenue that we've been getting from that the gas tax go down. That's why T-Rock recommends replacing the gasoline tax with a number of revenue raisers starting first with a fee on electric vehicles that pay no gas tax at all. It would be a $275 uh, uh, registration fee specifically for electric vehicles. That's in the short term. In the long term, T-ROC suggests replacing the gasoline tax with a vehicle mileage tax, charging every vehicle owner based on the number of miles they drive each year. Is it going to be $0.08 cents per mile? Is it going to be $0.06 cents per mile? I think there's going to be a lot of discussion before that gets set in. Another source of dollars? Double or triple the state's registration fee. Or replace that with an ad valorem vehicle tax. Other revenue raisers? A dollar fee on every ride share you take on Uber or Lyft. Or every package you have delivered to your home. And of course, another way to raise money? Toll more roads and bridges. Now, none of these proposals will happen quickly. Most of these changes require legislative approval. Late Friday, the House Republican Majority Leader threw cold water on the recommendations, calling them, quote, ill-timed and short-sighted. John Delano, KDKA News.